a yard deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. Here's the Jet offense now. They head out to take over. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do real, I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. A gain of four that time as the drive continues. Brandon, more and more offenses are going to the philosophy of using every inch of the field to try and spread things out. And when you're running back and catch the ball as well, that can only help your offense. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Normally, he's pretty reliable. He usually catches what's thrown to him. On that play, he simply dropped it. And he can't bring it in. Incomplete. He dropped it on the crossing route. Fourth down now. Here's Lachlan Edwards now. As he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some <laughs> gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Manning now on first down. Over the middle here to Donnell. And they'll mark him down right around the nine, just shy of the ten. It's a nine-yard pickup on the play, and that'll make it second and short. Second down and just one. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. And third quarter here, you've got the lead. This is where that strong run game can really benefit you. Stayed in bounds there, kept the clock going. I like all the points you just made there. And if you throw the football and it's incomplete, now you've stopped the clock and you've helped out the guys on the other side of the ball. So keep it in the hands of those runners. Keep moving it. Keep grinding clock. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he goes across the 20 to the 22. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the run. And right now, they're not doing that, and that really chips away at your confidence. And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to him back. And Manning keeps it himself. It's a gain of three, and it gets him the first. Well, they pick it up on third and one on the quarterback sneak, and that's not easily done because there are extra bodies in there on the defensive side, and they're moving forward at the snap. Yeah, I was certainly expecting a handoff, weren't you? Yeah, I totally was. I thought they'd go with it back, maybe try and get a lead blocker in front. But as you talk about in different games, 
Those guys with confidence in their offensive line, they just want to move forward and get it. Taking him down is a veteran, Darrell Revis. And there's a nice stop for the defense. They've had a tough time containing this guy all game long. But maybe they can build a little bit off of that play, a little bit of confidence, a little bit of momentum. Yeah, every now and then you can actually tackle that guy. On second down, they'll try and run the counter. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. They'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. So while the offense has had a big day, no one on that side of the ball is excited about seeing a loss like that. Their goal, to make every play positive. And when you have a bad one like that, your next goal is to not let spiral into more. On third and long, it's Manning. And this is going to be incomplete. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Giants with the football and also the lead as we get set to start quarter number four. Here's Brad Wing now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And this punt goes out of bounds, and it'll be marked inside the 40. And now out come the Jets. And down on the scoreboard, certainly needing to avoid what happened on the last drive, punting the football. Sense of urgency has to take over for them here. They know the score. They know the situation. And by the way, the punter no longer exists for their offense. That's how they have to treat this drive. They need points. Big time. Now Fitzpatrick got an open man. It's a noon one. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. Fresh set of downs here. Quarterbacks love slant routes because the receivers are breaking right into their line of vision. And receivers love them as well because they're getting the ball on the move and able to catch it and try and get upfield and gain additional yardage. So they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect. One of the toughest things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending a guy downfield with the in route accompanying it, what people call a dagger route, trying to hit the guy underneath after the clear out. In this case, though, they're not able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. Unable to connect on the first down pass play. Now it's second down. Forte, the load running back. Now Fitzpatrick, and he's going to be intercepted a third time. A great read, and it's picked off. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Fucking bum. Oh, me, another donor. <laughs> another donor, you fucking bum. I own you. I am your daddy. Oh, me, you fucking bum. Another donor. I am your daddy. I fucking own you. <laughs> they start to drive with Jennings. And he takes it past the 45 and down at the 46. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take, puts a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. So the offense readies for a second and four. They come out here in the eye. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. And that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run. And at that yardage gain, they can run that play on any down. Go. 
So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. They'll give it to him right up the gun. As he's got this down inside the 40 to the 39. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. The fourth quarter here, they've got the lead. They want to keep it on the ground. That's what they're doing. Smart football. Keep the clock grinding. Keep it going. But you got to figure now, they're going to see more people stacked up in the line of scrimmage as they try and bleed it out. They'll give it to him right up the gun. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Manning, he's got Cruz complete. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. Well, this is Donnell with a grab. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Give him nine on the play, and it'll be second and about a yard. And here comes play number six on this drive. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. Donut number 46 of your career. Your third donor in this year's Madden 17 alone already. After swallowing 18 in last year's Madden 16, this is your third donor in this year's Madden already. You fucking bum at all of you. Yo, boy, that's a meal. Yo, bum. And now with a play clock winding I down, Ben McAdoo's going to call a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Second and just one. It's a sneak, Manning. Only a gain of a yard, but that's all they needed is that's going to move the chains. Are we surprised a little bit? Second and one, they went quarterback sneak. I know it works, so it's not like I'm second guessing yeah. at all, but I thought they might go with something else there. No, I'm sitting here trying to think the last time I saw a second one sneak. I can't remember any. Yeah, it's a rare call because normally you're going to go ahead and use your back if you're going to run it or if you want to throw it, a little quick pop there. But in this case, just get in behind those big guys and pick up a first down. Now on first down, he's going to sneak it. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now here's a timeout defensively. Defensive timeout called by the Jets. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Oh, a quarterback sneak on second down. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves them needing about seven here on third down. Now the Jets are going to burn another timeout. That'll be their second, so one more chance to stop the clock here, and we'll be back. An eight-play drive to this point, so here's play number nine on third and seven. So third and seven and an extra defensive back on the field here. Definitely want to play coverage here. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It looked like they had something there, but I think that he was thinking about running with the football before he actually hauled it in, and that led to a big drop. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Cruz has it over the middle. Give him four. This year, fucking bum.